Greetings! How appropriate is it that an introduction to a course on music and computers is represented and mediated digitally like this? Uh, my name is Ko Umezaki, and I serve on the faculty of the music department at UCI. Um, it's great to sort of be there in the room you are in now. I'm unfortunately away for the first week, uh, as you might have been told, so I prepared this clip to introduce you to Music 51, Music Technology and Computers. If you happen to be in the wrong room, now's the perfect opportunity to slip out of the room unnoticed, of course, or stay. Please do. Allow me to address an administrative issue right off the bat. If you haven't yet registered for this course, please email me at uh, the following email address kumezaki at uci.edu. Uh, perhaps someone uh, can write my email address on the whiteboard as well. That would be very nice. Make sure to include your name, UCI email address, your major, and why you'd like to take this course. Now, there are no guarantees uh, that you will be allowed to enroll, unfortunately, as the maximum for this course has increased from 35 last year to 80 this year, and we'll need this year to sort of experiment with how this new class size works with the course materials and projects. Um, you will receive an email with instructions on how to add the course if you are granted enrollment. Uh, if not granted, I'll make sure I'll let you know about that as well. Unlike other years, we're going to start week one with viewing a documentary film on electronic music by Iara e. Lee titled Modulations Cinema for the Year. Professor Sun has been kind enough to be our guest visitor to facilitate and moderate the discussion after the film. Uh, if you haven't figured it out yet, I'm honestly not there today, so I will leave moderating the discussion uh, in the very capable hands of Professor Sun. One thing about starting the course with a movie is that you won't get a sense of what a normal three-hour meeting of Music 51 this course will be like. So for those of you who are just checking out the course either to try to add it or to drop it, you might wait until after our week two meeting uh, to make that decision uh, when we'll have a more quote-unquote normal three-hour class meeting. I'd also like to introduce to you uh, Michael Matthews, who will be the TA for the course. Uh, Michael is one of our uh, esteemed graduate students uh, at UCI in the area of the music department called ICIT, Integrated Composition, Improvisation, and Technology. Uh, Michael, would you please introduce yourself, at least wave to everybody? Wonderful. <laughs> Michael and I have had um, uh, have briefly talked about him presenting his work on the application of genetic algorithms and cellular automata in music, uh, so please look forward to that towards the end of the quarter when we discuss algorithmic music and musical intelligence. This course is about music and computers. Uh, there are three main components to it. History, aesthetics, and ideas, and so for example, We'll discuss uh, early electronic music or voice synthesis in music and so on and so forth. Next element would be theory and math. Yes, there will be some of this. Um, and as examples, you'll see that representing sound using digits, controlling electronic instruments with digital protocols um, would be some things that we might cover in addition to others. And um, there are creative and practical projects that we'll do. For example, the first uh, creative project will be a group composition exercise using a software tool called Audacity. The evaluation. The work you'll be evaluated on will be as follows. Uh, there's a quiz, two quizzes actually, each one being 10% of the total course grade. Uh, the group creative project will be 15%. There will be a final exam. Um, should be 25%. Incidentally, quizzes and final exam will be on Triple E and they'll be open for um, somewhere between three and four days. Uh, there is the individual final uh, creative project, which would be worth 25%. And then there are participation-related grades. And um, we'll, we'll discuss the details later, but 
it's likely to be divided 5% into in-class participation, 5% a short little essay at the very end of the, of the course, and 5% um, dealing with concert attendance. And I'll describe these again. If not in this video, we'll certainly talk about them in the early weeks of this fall quarter. The quizzes and final exam will be on Triple E, as I mentioned. Most questions will be multiple choice, multi-select. Uh, the group project will be um, using the software tool Audacity. Uh, we're considering also uh, using a, a tool called GitHub, which is a sort of a version control system for those of you who deal with this kind of stuff, perhaps computer science people. Um, and uh, the individual project uh, will actually use um, MuLab and Audacity. Uh, for both group and individual projects, we're thinking of having some component of the evaluation being done by peer evaluation. And I'll explain that to you again in the coming weeks. Um, participation will be a letter grade you give yourself uh, with some um, elements that you know I might use to evaluate your grade. Uh, for how engaged, essentially for how engaged you were during the class, and we can talk about that more later. The concert attendance um, is actually important. Uh, this year you must absolutely be able to attend one of the two Gossman Electronic Music Series concerts listed in the Out of Class Events post, and that's on the, the course website already now. We'll go to that in a little bit. Uh, no exceptions. You will receive full points for staying through the whole performance. <laughs> um, simply email in a photo of you attending the concert. Please do not take that photo during the concert. Uh, you also must visit the exhibition at the Beale Center for Art plus Technology, Art and Technology, um, titled Data Viz, Information as Art. And um, you can see the out-of-class events uh, fall 2012 post on our course website for the details. And we'll maybe take a look at that in a, in a few minutes here. The brief essay I mentioned will be due at the end of the quarter where you will very succinctly describe some aspect of music and technology to expect in the near future, let's say five or 10 or 15 years from now. So, uh, bad news. One thing we won't be covering uh, much of in this course is studio recording techniques. I know many of you are interested in getting involved with production and what and whatnot. Um, we just can't support that because we just of the uh, uh, given the size of this particular class. The good news is that starting this year, Music Fifty One, this course will count towards fulfilling a GE credit, a general ed credit, um, accordingly. Changes may need to be made in terms of the material and coursework as we move along this quarter. Um, you may have seen on Triple E that the course website is kind of at an odd URL. And here it is, it's www.healthyboys.com music51. So please take note of this. Um, if you're not registered for the course yet, you should write this down. Uh, maybe somebody can write this up on the whiteboard as well. Um, so that uh, you can follow along in terms of what uh, we're doing in this course or what's been done in the course in the past. Uh, feel free to peruse the site. I've left all the material from last year's class there for now, which I'll probably get rid of sometime in week two or three. Um, you can look at it to decide whether this course is for you or not. Although be aware that some of the goals of the course outlined in 2012, in the 2012 syllabus, are different from last year's. Speaking of the syllabus, which is right here. Uh, one thing that I asked you to do between now and when we meet next uh, week is to read this year's syllabus. So it's right here. Uh, in it are links to what uh, the week-to-week -week plan is over in the course schedule link right here. And most of the audio clips that we will be listening to history, aesthetics, and listening. So there's a page here that has most of the audio clips listed. You see early electronic music up here and so on and so forth. Um, there's also a link to the academic honesty policy right here. So please uh, look at that. 
I ask your understanding regarding the late assignment policy. It's, there's a 10% deduction per day late. Uh, for example, if you received 100%, which all of you I hope do, uh, for an assignment, uh, but turned it in five days late, your grade for that assignment will be 50%. I also ask for you to understand that there will be no makeup quizzes or exams should you miss one. Uh, that includes deadlines, meaning the deadlines for um, or, or completing the, uh, an a quiz for a quiz, for example, on Triple E. There are some things to do uh, for next week, and I haven't posted them yet, but they but they will be on the Wednesday, October third uh, class post. So please look at that after I, there's, I should have those um, posted there, the assignment for next week, and the readings for next week posted there. Uh, by the time you're looking at this. If you have any other questions about the course, please bring them to our next class meeting on Wednesday, October 10th, and we'll try to uh, clarify them then. So, uh, I think that covers things for now. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you next week, and enjoy Modulation's Cinema for the Ear. Bye! <laughs>